the famous covered bridges of Vermont, like this 141-year-old span in Rockingham, oh my God. Oh my God. disappearing into the raging waters, or like this one, just hanging on for dear life. Irene continued her fury overnight, plowing through Vermont and upstate New York. Make sure nobody's in the water. Small towns here in the Catskills underwater, suffering catastrophic floods, forcing rescue teams into powerful waters in search of the trap. The town's basically destroyed. I mean, maximum damage. People are displaced. Everybody's staying at a friend's house. We have people staying with us because their, their house is gone. Search teams in Margaretville, New York, pushed this woman's car to safety. Firefighters extending a ladder across rapid waters in an effort to save residents from the raging water. And school buses shuttled trapped residents from one side of the creek to the other. Look at these dramatic images out of Margaretville, New York, where 16 feet of water almost completely submerged the town. You can barely see the door at the local drugstore. Oh my God, this is the road into Prattsville. Fast rising stormwater surrounding a motel in Prattsville, where at least 21 were rescued and are now safe. County officials there are urging residents to move to higher ground, a warning that came just after the Schoharie Creek crested at 18 feet. I was wondering how much of our house we still have. We're also worried about the integrity of the Gilboa Dam, that there's an awful lot of water going over far more than anybody's seen before. Just 15 miles away, if the Gilboa Dam breaches, that water will come rushing north, creating devastating floods in the nearby town of Schoharie County, with a population of about 32,000 people. In Wyndham, New York, this house swept into the overflow and buses sank as people stared in disbelief. And in Vermont, a situation equally grim. Hundreds forced to evacuate after raging waters flooded homes, took over entire cities, submerging cars, and stopping just about everything. This water came over the edge, took out this whole street. And you can see the kind of stress these bridges are under. Entire pieces of logs have been jammed inside the spans. But fortunately for the people here and the bridges, the water is beginning to recede. Jim Avila, ABC News, Catskill, New York.